How can brand marketers use podcast advertising to build their brand equity? Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer at the Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. Today, we are sharing you this case study of a spirits marketer who used podcast advertising on the Cumulus Podcast Network to build their brand and grow their brand equity. Now, podcast advertising is really the rage among brand marketers. If you take a look at the IAB PWC revenue tracker on podcast ad spend going back to 2017, you can see that brand campaigns in podcasting have almost quadrupled over the four year period between 2017 and 2020. That is just about double the growth rate of direct response advertisers. So the brands are really stepping up and putting their money where their mouth is when it comes to podcast advertising. Beginning in 2015, Cumulus Media and Westwood One began a sentiment tracking study with advertiser perceptions about podcast advertising. And two important questions were asked. One, how likely are you to consider advertising in podcasts in the next six months? And number two, how likely are you to actually advertise in podcasting in the next six months? And since 2015, you can see podcast advertising consideration has doubled and podcast spend intention has more than quadrupled. So there is a huge interest among brands in podcast advertising. And there is no more measure of the degree of brand interest in podcasting than if you consider the number of brand studies that Nielsen has conducted for podcast advertisers. At the moment, it numbers over 425 different podcast brand studies conducted over a whole variety of categories. And what Nielsen reports is that on average, brands can expect an awareness lift of about 12 points. The proportion of listeners who say they will seek information on the brand will grow about seven points. Purchase intent lift averages five points and brand recommendation uh, has an average lift of five points. So podcasting, absolutely strong performance in mid upper funnel brand measures for marketers. Now, the spirits and alcohol category is especially interested in podcasting because of its unique age profile. With a median age of 34, the vast majority of podcast listeners are in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, an ideal age profile for spirits and alcohol advertisers. But there's one other important question that uh, spirits advertisers want to know is, how much of uh, the media audience is over the age of 21? Because there are industry guidelines that say that the proportion of the 21 plus audience should be at least greater than about 72%. Well, according to Edison's share of year, over the last six years, the composition of 21 plus listeners in podcasts well exceeds the spirits and alcohol industry guidelines. Over the last four years, the proportion of the 21 plus audience in podcast has hovered tightly between 87 and 89%. So spirits and alcohol marketers can utilize podcasting with confidence as the vast majority of the audience is over the age of 21. So for a case study, a spirits marketer sponsored the Cumulus Media Podcast Network show called Who Was Prince? Uh, hosted by Tori, and it was produced by DCP Entertainment for Cumulus Podcast Network. The campaign ran over the summer of 2021. Nielsen was retained to conduct a brand effect study. 400 consumers over the age of 21 were surveyed. Half were exposed to the podcast and the ad, and the other half were just exposed to the podcast with no ad, and a whole series of standard brand equity measures were asked. The first is an important one, which is how well do people like the podcast content? Obviously, the more people like the podcast, the greater the advertising effectiveness. On average, Nielsen reports that the average proportion of listeners who rate podcast content as excellent or very good is 61%. In the case of the Who Was Prince podcast, the listener evaluation was much higher. 74% overall said it was excellent or very good. 75% of weekly alcohol drinkers 
rated the podcast as excellent or very good. Now, what about brand fit? Listeners are asked, to what extent do you think the brand was a good fit for the content of the podcast? On average, Nielsen reports that 67% of the typical uh, listeners say that the marketer fits the podcast, and this was right at the benchmark at 64%. In terms of brand awareness, well, this is where podcasting really can strut its stuff, a 50-point increase between those exposed and unexposed or the awareness of the advertiser. And notice that the competitors in the category also experienced a little bit of a bump in awareness. This is the typical halo effect that you'll see when one brand advertisers, all the others in the category get a little bit of a bump as well. In terms of familiarity, uh, those saying that they were extremely or very familiar with the brand saw a 24% increase. Those uh, who said they liked or loved the brand grew 8%. Now, brand affinity really comes over time as people actually use a brand. So in this particular case for brand affinity, advertising is a nudge, not a shove. Now, what about driving action? Nielsen measures action three ways, seeking information, purchase intent, and then brand recommendations, and all saw nice growth. Seeking information grew 19%, purchase intent grew 13%, and brand recommendation grew 5%. So a very strong story of brand equity growth. So overall, podcast advertising is an ideal media platform for spirits marketers as the vast majority of the audience is over the age of 21. With a median age of 34, that means most of the audience is in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. The Who Was Prince podcast scored very positively with consumers and performed well above the content benchmarks. Brand fit was strong. Exposure to the podcast drove very strong recall and awareness of the brand. And there was the typical halo effect where some of the other competitors in the category also saw some modest uptick in uh, brand recall. And the campaign drove some very strong familiarity growth as well as intention to take action. Each and every week, we post a new case study and audio insight on our blog. You can find it two ways at cumulusmedia.com, and you can also head over to westwood1.com. And when you go there, you can sign up to get the weekly case study and audio insight into your email box. Thanks so much for the opportunity to share with you this very latest brand effects study from Nielsen on the Cumulus Podcast Network. Thanks so much.